Hey guys, welcome to Aether Gazer, and we're going to be talking about sigils. I've had a lot of questions regarding sigils. What are what are the most appropriate sigils per character? So if you go to your character, I'm gonna use uh, Shinri as an example. Your sigils are going to be here. Okay, so early game do not really mind for this use whatever you can but once you have the means that you can farm for these you can actually go to one once you click on change you will have other options here that you can equip it with but before you go with the equip there is actually a recommended sigil tab here so again Per character, there is a recommended sigil. This just takes you from 3-star, 4-star, and 5-star. So, more or less, you should, you know, you should level up 4 or 5-star, not 3-star. 5-stars uh, are hard to find, so you can really level up your 4 and 5-star. So, this is where you can check for every character. I'll go to another character here that I haven't equipped a sigil. So let's say um, here. This is um, Surefire. Should I used her in the early game? So sigil I put on her. This is increases ultimate skill damage by 10%. So if you want to change this and if you want to see her recommended sigil, then you have it here. So these are the things that you should know so that you can actually check which sigil is really appropriate for your specific character. Okay, so now Warden, that is actually very obvious, but some don't really see it, the recommendation tab. So again, the other choices uh, for you to farm, we're gonna go to farming of sigils. So the optimum farming for sigil would be in the sigil shop obviously okay do not farm for three star please don't uh you won't be using this long term the ones that you'll be using more will be uh four stars if you want to buy using this uh sigil shard then you can go ahead buy for four star and five star but for a five star it's going to be a different uh currency so this one, you get this once you break 5-star down. So that's the only way that you can get this. Or you can farm sigils in the content as well. So you have 3, 4, 5. You can buy them here. Then you have limited specials. Also check out your limited specials. Some of them, um, some of the 4-stars here are good, especially if they're on sale. And especially if you have a lot of coin then go ahead and buy the four star that you need but if you don't have enough coin obviously do not buy from this shop so we go to the resource shop for the best you know the best sigils in the game that i've seen so far these are the very very rare sigils this one is going to give you increase in ultimate skill and ultimate skill damage by 30% um, the other one is this one is crit rate by 75% which is crazy for three seconds whenever a dodge effect is triggered so again it is going to be nice and so on and so forth so all of these are the best sigils this one is for healing so if you want to equip that to a healer and so on and so forth so guys please make sure that you go after the sigils the ones that are uh, have five star i wouldn't you know i wouldn't suggest you go for the four star for these guys because ultimately you'll be replacing your four star with five stars if you wanna if you really want to spend spend on the five star uh you know um special edition whatever you call them um sigils so these are actually mine this currency this one here it's it's actually mined in your hazard zone cleaning okay before we go to the hazard zone cleaning uh we're gonna be going to the content where you could mine obviously it's going to be in sigils but some also don't know how the mechanics for the mining work so before you mine anything please make sure that you check on the selector here 
these are are you know these are our basic sigils these are not the the extreme sigils that you've seen um a while ago so this one uh you have to check what are you or which one are you going to be mining for or farming for then click confirm then you go on the stage wherein you could you could you know you could mine them so possible loot these these are additional possible loot plus this sigil that you selected okay going back to um challenges so hazard cleaning zone this is the hazard cleaning zone that you can mine currency so as you can see here uh no not this one the voucher shop the voucher shop is this remember the the hard to find sigils which has a lot of buffs to your character you can actually get only three then you can use it because i think this is just a set of three as you can see so again please make sure what side to buy there are six sides of your sigil and going back to this one to hazard zone cleaning event so you need to clear this and this has a difficulty i think when this refreshes uh sorry when this is refreshes in two days this will take you to you can actually choose another difficulty for this one i couldn't choose another difficulty so we'll try to use this this currency here was given to us and this is in your um inventory so let's uh refresh it here as you can see once it refreshes you can go up another level here and choose this difficulty so i'm gonna be moving up this gives you more rewards so confirm difficulty okay so again if this if you refresh if it refreshes in two days then you can go up another level depending on your characters the bet the higher the level of course the better the reward so that is it guys that is your crash course for sigils um again for sigils please make sure that you just follow the recommendation and also for the extra unique sigils please make sure that you equip if you want to replace let's say for example if you want to replace these three here then please make sure that you buy the correct side and the correct unique sigil because they are very expensive so that is it guys so you know if you have any questions regarding sigils on how to equip them again please check out the recommendation tab it's going to be here once you click on change it's going to bring you to the recommended sigil and it's going to appear here okay so thank you very much guys so comment in the comment section what do you you know if you have any opinion on sigils on what is really the recommended way to you know to determine whether each character is fit for that sigil please comment down in the comment section so thank you very much guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here